Hello, my name's Robert Dean Steele, and today we're talking from Jeremiah chapter 31, 3, and 4. So, Father, we thank you today for the wonderful teaching that we're going to learn from Jeremiah. Now, we ask your blessing upon it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, listen to what the Lord says through Jeremiah in chapter 31, 3, and 4. I have loved you with an everlasting love. That means that God loves you with a complete love. And he started off loving you from the time that you were uh, first conceived to the day, of course, when you and I pass into eternity. And then we have the privilege, of course, being with him forever. Jesus says, where I am, you will be also. That other beautiful thing about love is it's communicated to us. When we love the Lord our God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength, then it gives us the ability to love others and to be healed as well. Then he says, and I will continue with my faithfulness to you. So God is going to be faithful. Now, a wonderful promise found in Matthew chapter 28, verse number 20. Jesus said, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Paul puts it this way, every man may be a liar, but the word of God is true and God will be faithful to us. The third thing that he wants us to know is I will build you up and you shall be built. God is doing a work in our lives right now. We are growing in the grace and knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. Realize that God is the master builder and he knows exactly how to build us, how to put us together so that we can be exactly what God wants us to be. There was an illustration of a, of a piece of uh, pottery. It was a, a piece of uh, a cup and it was fashioned by the master. And in the process of being faster, um, being uh, fashioned, it was pounded into place and then it was put into the kiln and was hot and then it was put out on the place and uh, was put in the kiln again after it was painted. But after it was all done, it was a beautiful uh, piece of pottery. By, shaped by the master's hand. That's kind of what happens to us. We get shaped by the master's hand, and sometimes it's not a pleasant journey, but the end product is absolutely beautiful. So remember, God is growing you. God is encouraging you. God is loving you with an everlasting love. And when he builds you, you shall be built, and you will be the exactly what God wants you to be when it's all said and done. A little thought for you today. My name is Robert Dean Steele. If you like what you've been hearing, then I encourage you to press the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Lord, we want to be uh, a work. We want to be a workman who needed not a shame, but rightly divides the word of truth. Would you help us to become what you intended us to come? And we ask it now in Jesus' name. Amen.